Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living or requirement worth having. There's different types of people in America. There are those people like my friend Marsha in high school who came out of poverty, who came out of endeavor, and she simply chose to pursue, pursue a young man who was a little bit younger and a little bit more easy for her to understand for everything about him in terms of his family's financial prowess. You see, she was basically a gold digger, and I believe that she used her sex and sexuality to turn a young man's head. She did eventually become a part of that family. She must have been doing quite well and giving him good, well, you know, what reminds with that rhymes with that, head. But we're not going to be silly. We're not going to be inappropriate. We're not going to be anything other than an adult show. But when I talk about these things, you know, I'm talking about the reality of life, that people go out into the world to partner. And when people fail in their first partnerships, they usually do the same thing again. They choose the wrong person or someone profiles them and literally stalks them and then catches them. And then once they get into that relationship, almost a year later, just about the time of annulment, they decide that they're not right, right for that person. You see, the people that we're the most right for are often the people that we least think God has chosen for us. And the people that God has chosen for us are often the people that we reject. The foolishness of the human mind is thinking that I don't have to do anything appropriate at this time because I am God of all. We all know that's not true because in a time of COVID, a time of pandemic, an epidemic, we are learning our mortality rate. And the mortality rate of a person who violates the law is about a lot smaller or lower or decreased than the one who does not violate the law at all. But whose laws are we talking about? Are we talking about your version of God's laws? Are we talking about the actual laws that God has? And are we talking about American laws and international worship laws? Or are we actually talking about your opinion on what they are? You see, your opinion on someone's life is not going to govern their life. Your opinion on someone's religious rights is not going to convert them to your religion. Your stupidity of mouth is what usually gets you into trouble. Because the standard line of most people is, God bless you. Now when I received that line from a little boy who tried to give me a little bit of cash, the Lord said, please receive it, because that little boy really wants you to have his little two dollars that he brought with himself to go to the store and he saw you and he had compassion and he said mama and he's a little black boy and she's a white mother I'd like to give my money to him and his mom said okay now I did have the right to say no that day I'd already said no early in the day to a young girl who was trying to give me money on behalf of a Hispanic older man and the answer was no I don't take money from little girls who are barely old enough to recognize what they're doing I also don't believe in the concept of sending a child to talk to someone like me. Despite the fact I've been an educator most of my life, despite the fact I can read a child in a matter of seconds, despite the fact that I can tell in that moment what a child needs, and despite the fact that I am quite polite with little girls of every nation and every race, because little girls are the most precious, not to me, but to you. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth, and when someone is of a young nature, we often tend to give them forgiveness for the illness that their parents have that they did not honor the Lord's wishes in that moment of time.